we're going to inset a window into one of these pieces that actually extrudes out kind of like uh, what you'd expect of an attic window you know rather than just been flat although we will have some flat ones on the surface there this one will kind of extrude outwards with one of those arc style uh, roof on it so looking at this i think maybe that's actually a bit of a shallow a shallow roof we're not going to really be able to get a larger window into that and what we do put in will be kind of pointless so at this point i'm going to take the advantage of the fact that we made all of these and i want to make the same again only with like a steeper roof but we don't have to make remake it from scratch because it's a very simple setup as long as we're using the grid i'll press shift d and copy what we already have let me bring them over here. I just actually want to be very careful that I'm snapping the grid on this as well. So I will go into top down. Auto graphic. I just want to have a look. I want to look again at these ticker boulder grid lines here. I want to just make sure that the middle point of these roofs are on one of those lines. So that means they're snapped now to the grid. And just to make them steeper, all we need to do is go into front autographic. I'll move them all a little bit closer together. Just so I can zoom in a bit more and keep everything in shot. Right, now I'm gonna isolate this. So I'll select all. Press the forward slash over eighth key and I'll go into, I'm already in x-ray, so if I go into edit mode with tab, I just want to, with select, the select box selected here, I just want to click and drag over all the top points. So we know from this design that that bottom vertex here should be up seven meters or whatever units of measurement these are. So we want to bring it up just to eight. So with all of them selected, I'm going to move, I'm going to press G and move it up on the Z axis. I'm going to middle click to lock to that axis. And I want to just move it until I imagine the lowest point of the vertice there is on that grid line there. I think that's going to be eight. Okay, so I just want to bring this down so that it's lining up roughly with those objects. I'll press Q and all transforms. And now we're on these. Okay, so the pivot and location of all of these deeper pieces have been fixed. I'm going to just move these out of the way in my working area here. And again, I want to make sure that I'm using the grid. So I know that this point here is central, so I'm going to just make sure he's on the grid point there. Now, with these steeper ones, I think I could probably duplicate this fella here and use him to make uh, an attic window. So I'll bring him to the center. I'm going to move my walls about a bit, actually. Yeah. All right, so on one side, I'll probably do one window coming out here maybe so just for the sake of reference i'll kind of bring in a a cube oh so that appeared over there because i have my 3d cursor set to there so i want to right click go snap cursor to world origin now shift a create a cube and i'm just going to bring him up till he's in the midpoint of this and I'll bring them out until roughly the center point is on the tilt of that roof there. I need to bring them back a point or two. So something similar to that is what we're going to go with. So I'm going to use this as a, as a guide. I'm going to cut around this cube. But I want the whole thing to be in inside and I will
change the material on this piece as well. So I'm going to select the piece I want to use, the piece with the material I want. And I will copy material to select it. Now with that, I also want to set up a mirror. So I'm going to come out of X-ray for this into face mode and I'll press control or give it a center line. I'll grab the center line. I'm going to move it up one. Yeah, that'll do for the moment, I think. Right, so I want to get rid of everything on one side. So, like that, and the open face, delete faces. And I'll do what I want to do on this side first, and then I'll apply the mirror afterwards. So similar to what we've done when we're actually making the roof, I want to take this top plane here, and I'll press Shift D and duplicate that. D to separate its selection. Now I'm going to come into the X axis um, orthographic per second. No, I'm not. Hang on, I need to get a better view of this. I'll probably give it a thickness modifier first so I can see it from an orthographic. At the moment it's a flat plane, so it's going to be difficult to see that. So I will go to modifier, give it solidify. And if I go into the side view, I want to just judge this. Is it roughly, yeah, it's roughly the same as the, the ticker. Uh, roof segments that we've already done. So I'll go back into autographic there. And because we have this modifier applied, I can't move this as a face. So I'm going to go into edit mode. I'm going to go into edge mode. I'll select that bottom edge there. Go back into autographic on the X axis. And I'm going to press G. And I'm going to just move this piece down. And again, I will, maybe that's a little thick actually, I'm gonna bring that down to 0 0.13, I'd say. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, so I'm actually gonna apply that. And using the trick that we done on the previous video, I'm actually gonna use this piece as a guide so I'm going to duplicate it, press shift D and I'm going to move it up. I need to turn snap off on this because I want that to be as flush down as possible. Like that. So now that I've shown you how to use the vertex snapping, we can actually, instead of judging this by eye, we can actually use the vertex snapping again. So I'll turn on snapping here and I'll select the vertex. Make sure it's closest. Um, yeah, I'm just going to leave that off for the moment and see maybe what happens. So I'll select the piece that I want to move. I'm going to tab to go into edit. i select vertex and I want to select through the mesh here. So make sure my x-ray is turned on. Like those verts and I press G and move them over that bottom vert there and it'll snap perfectly in line. That, that saves a bit of time. Remove that. Now I need to cut this piece again, but I want to see that grid. So for the moment, I'm going to move this roof piece out of the way, but I'm going to do so with increment snapping on so I don't lose its orientation on the grid. I'll come back into this and that's spot on on the grid line there. So I'll select the piece, go into edit mode, go into base mode this time. And when I, uh, A, select everything. And again, I'm gonna choose my bisect, bisect tool, and I'm gonna use this ticker grid line. I'm just gonna cut down along that. Go to select and select those pokey edges and remove them. 
We want to also make sure that these are aligned on the Y axis. So S, Y and zero. Uh, I'm going to select that open edge. Two to go into edge mode. Turn off snap for this, I think. Go back into my X orthographic and I'm going to press E to extrude outwards. And I'll bring it out to maybe the next point. I won't even guess what that is because until I reset my transforms, it's going to be backwards. And I'll give it a phase by pressing F. So all we need to do is give it the overhang. To make the X-ray on that. No. Or maybe that's a bit much. I'll bring it back a touch. Because I do want to make a duplicate of this. 50. And apply the same. So P to separate it. Select add modifier. Give it solidify. I want this to be a lot thinner. That'll do. I want to give this even thickness because I want to straighten this edge out here. And that'll do. That's alright. Now I'll apply this. And press 3 to go into face select. I'm going to pull this overhang out of touch as well. Along the front too. Maybe that'll do. So now I just need to fix up the center line. So like before, I'll duplicate this roof piece. And I want to move this. I'll come into photographic again. I want to move it so it's touching the top piece. The top roof piece there. Uh, down a little further. There we go. I'll select this guy. Tab into edit mode, go to vertex, turn on snap, change it to vertex snap, and x ray to go through the mesh, select the top two, press G and snap. Now I'll just double check that, press S, Y, and zero, and it should be zero on the way. So, we're perfectly in line there. Right. Okay, so I can get rid of this top piece now, and I will merge bottom and top, Roll J to merge, and because I'm going to mirror this, I don't want there to be geometry here in the center, so I will X remove faces. So, I'll grab mirror here, so this is mirroring along the X axis, I want it to mirror on the Y, and remove the X. And now, instead of applying the mirror separately to this, I'll just select this piece and then shift select the body of the window here. And similar to the materials, I just want to click this drop down and say copy to selected. And it'll copy the modifier onto the previously selected piece. Okay, there's something after going funny here. So I need to fix that. Oh. Go into Y autographic. Uh, okay, I'll need to go into X ray here. Tab, into edit, and uh, I'll go to vertex and I want to select this top. It seems like the top one got skewed backwards on me. So I'll gauge it roughly and then I'll just select everything. S, X, and 0. Did that affect the back end of it as well? Maybe I moved the edge by accident. I did. I did. So I know here this 
position on this guy on the x-axis is 3. So I'll just do sx0, let this value to 3. Yeah, that fixed that. So now we just got to cut it to fit this. And we're going to do the lazy part, or the lazy way. I'm not actually going to cut the, the shape out of the volume here. I'm just going to cut this at an angle and rest it on top. Because it's only going to be used as an exterior window. You're not going to see it from the inside. So to do that, I'll move this piece back into place. I'll press Alt-G. I'll go to the side view. I want to isolate just the, this section here, this selection. I'll go into Y or the graphic. And now I'm going to select these two parts. Go into edit mode. Let's go to see through so I can see that grid behind me. Oh, I notice now this has actually gone too high as well. So I'll probably need to move the whole thing down a little. A bit more comfortably into this window. So, better do that now before we do any cutting. I'll go into the side view and move this just down on the on, on the Z axis. Maybe I'll bring it forward a touch. I want to give it a, a proper bit of depth here. Again, I'm just going to use those photographic angles. They really do help. Maybe something like that will work. Yeah. That's a little extreme. That'll do. Right, so I'm going to buy out the graphic again. Select everything. No, don't select everything. Sorry, just select these guys. Add into edit mode. Go into x ray. Go to base mode. A to select everything and I'll grab my bisect again. And I'm just going to follow this roof, the outer roof piece here. So I'll click on one side here, bring it down along the other. And it's okay to go a little deeper in this because you're cutting, you're going to be cutting where you're not going to see it. So you can estimate it here, that's okay. Now let's go to select with the face on and I'm going to select these rejected parts. Now, X and need faces. Alright. So that's the roof part of the window. Just looking at it is I'm thinking maybe it's a little bit thin. So I'm wondering if I'm actually able to scale this on the Y without ruining the roof. I think that looks a bit better. Alright, I'll take that for now.